<laughs> Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about self tanning products and how to use them correctly. So I always used to go to a self tanning bed salon to I don't know a few times a week to be able to get that tan all year round even in the summer I still went to a self tan bed and when quarantine hit and you couldn't go anywhere anymore um, I started to play around with things uh, to self tan at home now prior to this I had never used a self tanner at home in my life ever and I didn't know the do's and don'ts the tips and tricks I didn't know any of this stuff so I had to learn the hard way and I mean I'm talking about like my skin was orange I had streaks all up and down my legs had to walk around like that at least at home for a whole week but thank goodness I didn't have to go out in the world like that but I want to be able to bring to you the top tips and tricks to be able to do at home I don't want you to have to walk around with streaks on your legs for a week. So I'm bringing you the top tips and tricks. You'll be looking good. You'll be looking good. Before we get started though, guys, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new around here, subscribe so that you never miss when I drop a new video. You can also hit that little bell up there. Let's get into it. All right, so let's start with the basics. You need to get in the shower, get your booty in the shower, and you need to shave. I'm talking everywhere. Everywhere that you're wanting to tan, you need to shave. Under your armpits, your legs, whatever else you shave, shave it, okay? <laughs> I used to use a Venus razor, and I don't know, I think they run like 30 bucks at Walmart, and then the replaceable heads for them are just as expensive. I think they're like 30 bucks as well. Anywhere from like, 15 to 30 ish dollars depending on like if you get the soap head or the charcoal head or whatever I switched ditched all my old razors and I went to Billy now if you haven't heard about Billy it is a razor subscription it's nine dollars nine dollars you guys and then you get to pick how many replacement heads are sent to you based upon how much you shave so if you shave once a week twice a week three four five times a week you just put it in and it calculates how many razor heads that you'll get sent to you but you guys it is hands down the best thing in life because now I don't have to pay triple as much and I don't even have to go onto that side of Walmart when I go grocery shopping you're gonna get just as good if not as better of a shave with this nine dollar guy and I tell you what I almost feel like my shave lasts longer because with Venus like I would be shaving every other day and I feel like with Billy I only shave about every three or four days because it honestly keeps my legs smoother longer so less work for this mama okay so now that you are done showering you've done shaved everything what's next well if you've never exfoliated in your life, you're going to want to. Exfoliation means just what it says. You're exfoliating all of the dirt and the dead skin cells and all of that stuff off your body. Now, I never used to exfoliate, but when I started self tanning, I started to exfoliate because I realized the benefits of it. And I can't believe that I've been missing out on exfoliating for 29 years of my life. I mean, that's crazy. When I was looking for an exfoliator, I came across Hello body they had a coffee scrub and I am a coffee addict so anything coffee I'm gonna purchase it is a coffee and coconut body scrub you guys I could not believe how freaking smooth my skin felt after using this it was it was like the heaven gates doors opened and it was like oh like here's the skin you've been wanting your whole life <laughs> so I went ahead and I got their body scrub the face scrub and I got their mud mask this these are all coffee products and I just like it because they're all organic and they don't have like weird chemicals in them or anything like that they do have different scents if you're not a huge coffee addict like myself and love everything that's coffee um, they do have different scents and I have a discount code for you guys so I'll leave that down below make sure to snag they always have sales going on always you guys 
So when you exfoliate, you don't want to rub very hard. If you do, your skin's gonna get irritated and red. When you exfoliate, let the product do the job. You don't have to scrub it in. You just lightly go across your skin with it, mix a little bit of water with it so it's not so dry and harsh. And you guys, your skin is going to feel amazing. You can do this in the bath, in the shower, whatever is comfortable for you. I definitely suggest doing it over some kind of tub so that the access that comes off you isn't falling on your floor and that you have a big mess going on. So as you can see here, you can see that I'm just doing it on my legs. You can see I'm going in circular motions with it. You're going to want to just do soft circular motions and don't be dragging it or irritating your skin too much and just rinse off with either cool or hot water and your skin is gonna feel amazing afterwards. So now that you've exfoliated, now what? Well, you need to get out some lotion. It doesn't matter what kind, it can be any lotion that you have at home, but you need to lotion especially the dry areas of your skin. So I'm talking about your elbows, um, your hands, your feet, your ankles, your kneecaps, and behind your knees anywhere basically you need a lotion you need to lotion your whole body but if you don't want to lotion your whole body you totally don't have to but you at least need to make sure that you're doing the rough parts after you lotion you could wait an hour two hours you could even wait until the next day even but I would give it a little bit to at least let your pores in your skin close because when you're in the hot shower your pores open up all the way once you get out of the shower they may close a little bit but they're not completely all the way closed I normally wait until the next day and then I'll do myself tanner then two hours later so now that you've waited the two hours or it's the next day, now is the time to get ready to do the self tanner. There are some self tanners that I absolutely love, but you can use whatever kind you like. The ones I really have been loving are the Isle of Paradise and St. Tropez, I do believe is how you say it. Either way, they both make an amazing self tanner products. They actually make a bunch of them. They make a mousse, a lotion, serum drops you name it they got it really all you need is a mitt some of them come in bundle packages this is a whipped marshmallow it smells really good this was a limited edition scent i'll see if it's still available if it is i'll link it below but any other mousses are going to be really good as you can see by the video, I'm just taking it and putting it onto my mitt and then I'm going to apply evenly all over my body. So I'm talking, I'm gonna get my feet, my legs, every little inch of your body. When you are applying it and you get up to about your neck area, and I would say to use the access off of your mitt to go up your neck and onto your face with. You don't wanna take a fresh, thing that you just squirted a whole bunch of mousse on and put it all over your face. I don't think that's going to look cute. Um, so you just want to take the access to kind of gradually bring it up into your neck and onto your face. Some people like to apply the Isle of Paradise with their hands. I used to try to apply self tanner lotions with my hands and it just doesn't work out good. You get hand and fingerprint streaks everywhere. So my number one tip is to use a mitt, no matter if it's lotion or you know a mousse use a use a mitt okay it's gonna be your easiest and your best bet for a flawless self tan the isle of paradise actually has a really good option for your face if you're wanting to tan your face so they have these serum drops and i use about six drops of this and i mix it with a quarter size of moisturizer now you don't have to use tula you can use whatever moisturizer you have at home i just am obsessed with tula's products um, and you actually mix them together in the palm of your hand. So once you have about, I use about six drops of the medium and you have it in your hand and you just mix it together and then you apply all over your face. Let it sit overnight even and wash it off in the morning. The Isle of Paradise does have a light, medium and dark shade in all of their products. I always get the medium in Isle of Paradise products. I just figured the dark would be really too dark and the light, you can't really tell that you did anything with it. So I always suggest medium or dark. You can actually add up to one to 12 drops. So I mean, you could make it as dark as you want. 
I actually use 12 whole drops of this with my moisturizer and oh man, my face was tan and the rest of my body was pale. So I would say you're gonna just have to kind of figure out how many drops work for you and how tan you want to look. Now you guys are probably gonna think I'm a little bit crazy, but I swear to you this works. If you have a buffer brush at home that you don't use or is old, then I would use it for self tanning. So I use Beaky Blender brushes. They come in a pack on Amazon. They're super cheap. Um, and I just got one of their buffing brushes out. And what I'll do is, as you can see here in the video, you wanna take your knuckles and once they're like this, as you're applying self tanner, you're missing all of the inside lines. Because once you go like this, you're gonna see all of the white. That's why anywhere like on my elbows, my kneecaps, my toes, my fingers, anywhere, I take this little buffer brush and I don't add any product to it. I just go around and I just buff it out so that the self tanner is still getting into those creases so that when you are moving your elbow or your fingers, you don't have white lines everywhere. So now we just wait basically anywhere from four to eight hours. Different products will say different times. Some will say four to six, some will say six to eight. It's really however dark you want to be. The longer you leave it on, the darker you're gonna be. Now I do not suggest sleeping in your self tanner. Um, I've done it before. <laughs> it's not a good look. Sometimes when you're rolling around in bed, you can get streaks that way as well. And if you leave it on too long, you're going to turn orange. While you're waiting, you can walk around your house naked if you want to and walk around like a stick person like this because that's normally what I do um, but it, you don't have to do it to that extent you guys you can just basically you can put your clothes back on um, I wouldn't put on anything too restricting I wouldn't put on a tight bra or tight jean shorts you want to put things on loose that isn't going to rub the self tanner off but I normally walk around my house like a stick person like this for eight hours <laughs> running around taking care of kids naked with self tanner on <laughs> that's my vibe <laughs> jokes aside just put on loose clothes you don't want anything too restricting do your laundry whatever you need to do around the house and in eight hours rinse it off now I'm not talking about taking a full-blown shower with soap and scrubbing no, it's just letting the water rinse over you to rinse off the excess tanner. But really, I would just play around with it. Take my tips into consideration from someone who did it horribly wrong the first time and has learned some tips and tricks in this whole quarantine experience. I hope you loved this video. I hope that you got some useful tips out of it and that it helps you on your self tanning journey as well. If you have any questions or anything, leave them down below in the comments and I promise you I will get back to you. I got you. So go out and flaunt that tan girl. And if you're a new first time self tanner user and you're kind of scared about how dark you're going to look, just leave it on for two, four hours and then wash it off. I promise you, you're never going to look as dark as you think you're going to. If you have any suggestions that you would love to see from me on my next video, go ahead and leave them in the comments as well. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Bye you guys.